Like, it don't make sense. Like, set yourself up for success in this journey. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. For those who are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to stay up to date with my latest uploads. So I have not done a video on forever. Um, however, I've been getting a lot of people on my Instagram saying that they came across my YouTube video talking about my journey as far as like my thyroid and my surgery and stuff like um, that. And they just have so many questions for me and they want to hear more from me. They want to hear more about my experience after you know not having a full thyroid um they want to know like what type of stuff i eat any type of supplements i take um how my weight loss journey is going so i figured i might as well just you know create videos instead of like always having to answer questions like one off on instagram today's video i'm just going to be talking to you guys about some habits that i established as far as like my weight loss journey with an underactive thyroid now when i first started this my thyroid was underactive it is now um, in a normal range and I do think it's due to some of the things that I've been doing as far as like my habits we got into a normal range even before I got my half of my thyroid removed because I started this stuff in January um, and then I didn't get half of the thyroid removed until May and my numbers are actually the same thing um, with half the thyroid so my other side picked right on up and continued to pull the weight for all of me so as far as like the weight loss journey i know i for sure lost 15 pounds by myself just in the beginning of the journey and then after that it just got really tricky like i just kind of felt like i plateaued i didn't know what to do everything i was doing before um it just was not working so i had to change a few things and number one thing i had to change was starving myself and i'm not trying to say like i was physically starving myself but like not eating enough for my body um you know just when you are in this weight loss culture so many fad diets so many like intermittent fasting and stuff like that and you just get in this mode of just like oh that's too much i don't need to eat all that and stuff like that and so i had to kind of change that um as well as i had to cut out the excess of cardio when i lost weight before like in college like that's all i did was cardio i would be on the stairmaster for like two hours elliptical treadmill like i'll be in the gym for like two hours but like that was not working anymore like if anything it was just like i just always felt drained i was gaining weight and my body was just like all right you doing too much so i kind of had to navigate this in my own way because i couldn't find any like real resources like as far as help i did end up finding um like a thyroid coach on tiktok her name is danielle i'll tag her below in the description but um i kind of started to follow like her healing thyroid diet but then i was like yeah i ain't doing all that because like the diet that she has people go on is more like of a paleo diet and she was saying like if you have issues with your thyroid you need to eat meat i know for myself like i can eat meat occasionally but I don't think it was doing the best thing for me. And it's just so much conflicting information on the internet. You really just got to do what works best for you. So I'm going to be giving you guys some things that helped me um, as far as my journey. Um, at the beginning of my journey, I honestly have not weighed myself because the scale can be a lie. But at the beginning of my journey, I was 196. Um, the last time I checked, I was only like 180 um so not like a huge difference uh as far as the weight but when i started my journey i was a size 12 um kind of like extra large and now i am a size 8 and medium small but the last time i checked i was still like in that 180 range so what i want you guys to know if you are having issues with your thyroid don't focus on the scale focus on how your clothes are fitting focus on your measurements because a lot of the times I don't know why the scale doesn't move but you have to focus more on like a fat loss instead of focusing on moving the number on the scale because a lot of times people weigh a certain number but don't look how they want to look I feel like I'm very satisfied with my body right now um but the scale is always like not the number that I want to see but you know I'm wearing clothes that I like um I'm liking how I look in the mirror so that's all that really matters so I'm going to be giving you guys 
um, a few pointers that um, I feel like helped me. So I will have to say the number one thing for me was doing greens powder. I do my greens powder, well I try to do it first thing in the morning, like before I go to the gym, before I have coffee, before I pre-workout. And the greens powder really just kind of like detoxifies your body as well as gives you a serving, I think it gives you two servings of vegetables. So um, I know that is the tricky thing for a lot of people. They don't get enough fruits and vegetables in throughout the day. So I know this green powder that I use has fruits and vegetables. I want to say it's two full servings. So you might as well knock that out before you even really get your day started. Yeah, so I think that's something that helped me out as well. Um, but that was kind of like the first thing that I did. And then I'm reading from a list on my phone. So another thing I did was I started adding supplements. I got into supplements from the thyroid coach Danielle and at first I was kind of just taking like a multivitamin but then she was like no you need to take vitamin D you need to take vitamin C and like zinc and selenium and all this other stuff and supplements be can become like expensive so honestly for the basic ones like the multivitamin the C and the D I take gummies and I know it's probably not the best way to take it but that's how I take it um Another supplement that I started with, this isn't the one that I started with, but the one I started with, it was by Mega Foods, but it's just a thyroid support um, supplement, and it has vitamin A, C, D3, B6, it has folate, iodine, magnesium, zinc, selenium, copper, L-tyrosine, green tea, um, I can't pronounce this, gulipid, I don't know. Uh, Bacapoen, I don't know, and then ashwagandha. I love ashwagandha, y'all. I actually was taking ashwagandha by myself, but it just really like keeps me calm. Um, and I do think um, stress is something that really um, impacts your weight loss. So if you are having some issues with stress, anxiety, I think you should take ashwagandha because it just keeps you calm, you know. Well, it did for me. So and then I kind of would say double just to kind. Of, keep me kind of zen or whatever she kind of said you needed like selenium zinc copper and all that but i kind of found that in this one thyroid supplement so instead of having to buy all those pills because like i said it was expensive another thing that i did was i limited my gluten now gluten is in it pretty much everything all wheat products it's in a lot of stuff um I eat gluten maybe if I go out to eat or I do have um, oatmeal every day and that's something that I'll talk about um, next so um for me I used to really work out fasted like I just wouldn't eat before I went to the gym and I feel like I really started to notice like the changes in my body when I started to eat before I went to the gym not only did I have more energy but I just didn't feel like lightheaded. I was able to just keep going. Um, I think it's really important to eat, especially if you're doing like weight training um, and cardio. Um, before I go to the gym, I usually make um, the night before overnight oats and I just do half a cup of oatmeal, half a cup of coconut milk because I like coconut milk. And then I'll add berries like strawberries or blueberries or something like that. And if I don't have that, I'll just put a little bit of sugar or a little bit of honey um, in there. Um, so those two were a game changer for me as well. So limiting the gluten and eating before my workouts. Another thing I did was I watched my processed sugar and just processed foods in general. I typically, if I do eat out, it's on the weekends, but I don't eat like fast food anymore. Like if I eat, I'm going to probably go to a restaurant and I'm going to actually have a real meal. You know, occasionally I might slip up and just go to a place and get some fries, but like I don't just like overdo it. I don't go get fries, burger, pop, like none of that. It's just like I I cook majority of the time or I just try to have like healthy snacks on hand all the time pretty much. And if you guys are interested to know like some of the snacks that I eat um, throughout my day, just let me know and I, got, I can kind of give you guys maybe like a what I eat in a day video or just like a snacks video. The other thing I did was I added more protein into my diet. Um, like I said, the coach, the thyroid coach Danielle was saying like you need protein and you need it from meat, but I just, 
the way my stomach set up sometimes i just can't eat meat and it's not because it makes my stomach uncomfortable it's sometimes i get sick of it like it's just like i get i'm getting gaggy like thinking about it like right now i'm not really eating meat so um i had to start doing like protein shakes um and plant-based protein is nasty y'all i'm not even gonna hold you up it's just not good it's not good and i recently started a new plant-based protein um i think it's pretty popular it's the warrior brand and then i just get chocolate because vanilla always tastes weird to me um but i just got chocolate and that way you can kind of add like peanut butter or you can add some cacao in it just to you know make it more chocolatey and make it taste a little bit more real um so yeah another thing i did was add collagen to my smoothies now collagen is derived from i want to say milk or cows somehow it's derived from an animal but they take the dairy out of it so it doesn't like upset your stomach or anything like that and it has 18 grams of protein per serving so i do add it to my fruit smoothies if i want to do like strawberries and maybe a few avocado like a few pieces of avocado um, and that'll keep me full and then it'll also give me that protein so that's something i usually do when i leave the gym is a protein fruit smoothie and then if i do a protein shake it'll probably be like around lunchtime. if i don't pack my lunch for work i do keep like a sandwich bag of protein in my desk just to have in handy if i don't have any food at work last thing that i feel like really was a game changer for me and it's something that i held out on the longest was i got help like i started personal training and i sacrificed my money for it because i just knew i couldn't do it by myself anymore like i did all the tricks in my book i listened to all the youtube videos i did all the influencers workouts i tried all these different diets and none of it was just working for me um and what's crazy is though like with the trainer it's not like he's giving me some type of like magic spell or magic potion or anything but i just do majority weight training um like i lift heavy all week and then on saturday and sunday i do steady state cardio and that has been a game changer for me just from what i've done by myself and then what i've done with him i think i've lost almost two percent of body fat working out with him and we've been working about working out together for it's going on the fourth month so i lost two percent body fat and that sounds small but like when you look at like my before and my after picture it's a huge difference when you think about just in august i was a size 12 and now i'm a size 8 like it's a huge difference and like i said this is why you can't pay attention to the scale because the last time i checked the scale it still said the same thing that it said back in may but i'm in a whole totally different size so you can't focus on the scale so i'm going to say that could be the number one thing put the scale up Start lifting some weights, add some more water to your life, take you some good supplements, um, eat more food. A lot of times we're just not eating enough. And eat food that is actually good for you. I think that's a game changer too. Like when I eat junk food, I feel like junk. Then I'm like, I'm paying for this trainer and I'm over here eating fucking fries. Like it don't make sense. Like set yourself up for success in this journey. And it can be frustrating because like, like I said, I have a thyroid issue so it's just harder for me but honestly if you do not have a thyroid issue this shit is easy you just got to be disciplined and you just have to want it like it is literally easy AF to lose weight especially if you don't have any problems all you have to do is be in a calorie deficit be focused work out and eat good foods eat life like a lot of times people just want to eat all this junk food. Eat more stuff that's good for you. All you got to simply do is add more fruits and vegetables to your diet. Like, you can still probably eat the same stuff. Just add more fruits and vegetables to it and eat less of it. That's it. So, um, sorry for the little rants at the end. But like I said, these are just some game changers that work for me as far as having, you know, that underactive thyroid. And I like the results that I am seeing. Even this jacket is like so big now. It was just tight like a few weeks ago. So, this journey can be tricky. 
but I think it, it's important to know when to pivot and really just listen to your body. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share it with a friend. These tips can work for anybody, not just people who may suffer from, you know, underactive thyroid. Um, so be sure to share it with a friend if you care. But that's all I have for you guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye.